this is an interview with um, NGOs and today um, we are with um, one of the most uh, famous NGOs in the Gambia now. Um, I know Gambians have been seeing um, his interview with other medias, but today is with NGO Affairs Agency, um, who is no one other than um, Mr. Jame. Uh, Mr. Jame, can you tell us your name and the NGO that you, uh, you are working for? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me on the line. And the NGO, my name is Mubo Jame. My NGO is called Helping the Poor and the Needy. We are based in Bacau. It's a registered NGO. What's your role? My, well, my role as, and, uh, the, the executive director of, of the NGO is to see that things are always intact because I am born in Gambia but made in Germany and that's the problem I'm having with people here because they cannot understand. This sounds very colloquial if uh, somebody tells you I'm made in Germany. That means if I say three is three. If I say four o'clock is four o'clock and this one is in me. And this is one of my, my, my systems that I'm working on. But some people, some workers don't understand, some do. But I have to accept it that way. Um, knowing you, mm -hmm. when I was very, very young, I know you as a musician. And suddenly, Gambians turned to see a very good philanthropy. Why do you get into NGO work? Well, you see... The simple reason is as a musician, I mean, if you hear all my songs, all my songs are about helping the poor and the needy. It's all part of it. So all of a sudden, it came into my mind that, hey, not only music, you can also do something else to help the poor and the needy. Because I'm from a very, very poor family. My father was a farmer. So I was working in the fields, could hardly finish my high school because of money. So then I went to the police band that I was able to get some finance there, get some money. I could pay I could pay for my brother's education to go to Gambia High School. Fine with me, I couldn't go. I had a scholarship to go to Amity, but then I had to drop it because there was no chance for me to go. And then all of a sudden I went to the police band and then we were playing classical music. I stayed there for a period of time. I had to leave and go because that's not my style of music. I went from there, went to Saralek, Senegal, Senegal, to Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, Germany. From Germany, now I'm back in Gambia again. I've done a lot in my music life, in the music field of music, and I'm still on it. Once a music, always a musician. Thank you. Well, why, why are you into the work of NGO now? I'm in it because I feel poor people, they deserve a better thing than this. No man is born rich. We are all born poor. So if you, if we, if we, how should I put it? If you ignore them, you ignore yourself because um, um, we born poor and we all die poor. So helping them means helping yourself. Help. People always say poverty is, is, is created and all. But I, I, no, 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 no. I dis, I, I, I disagree. Poverty comes in many forms. You can be poor, be rich, be rich, be poor. So, and then the respect. Let's, they, they, these people, they deserve better than ignoring them. And that's why I decided, instead of the music, I'm still on the music, but I have more time now for my NGO, and I love it. It's a beautiful job to help see the poor people, people coming to your place, your compound or somewhere, and then you give them donations, giving them money, giving them food, talking to them nice, you hear all their stories. This is very, very disheartening, very, very painful. And I think we also collaborate together. Help them. It's not their fault. Yeah. Let's see how best we can help them. Uh, better their position. So you think um, paying attention to them will change their life than ignoring mm -hmm. them? Yes, that will sort of change their livelihood. We, can, we shouldn't ignore them because let's talk to them, help them. Because let's, you know, let's, let's, get, let's get into Islam a little bit. Because, I mean, they, they deserve better than this. 
I've seen so many people, I had problem with people with that. Some people tell me, no, no, how am I helping these people? You know, they go sell, them. I don't care. I give it to you. It's your problem if you go sell it. That's your own problem. I don't care. But I give you, I give it to you, simple. And this one, that's in me. That's typically me. All right. People might have this feeling that um, paying attention to the poor or the other needies is the work of the government. I, I disagree categorically. No, that's not the work of the government alone. This is why NGOs should support, help them. Where the government stops, that's where NGOs start up to help them. Because in, the government in, in simple term, complementing governments of help. Yes. Um, people say, no, why should you do this? This is government. There is no good, there is no Mansakunda. It is for you yourself. You are the Mansakunda yourself. You, the, the, you are the people. The people are the government. So, but we shouldn't leave all everything. Say the government. No, no, the government can't do all this. We really have to support, help. The NGO should do that. Let's not sit down here. And, I'm an NGO, and then I can do. No, no, no. We are not here to tell anybody what you have to do. No, it's your responsibility. It's your duty to help the government. So you are not even helping, but it's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. Help. Yes. Right. Um, looking at this, I aware of your plan to help the poor and the needy, especially the holy month that we are facing. You want to cater for some. As you said, you may not be able to help all of them, but you will help those you can help. Whether you are a Christian, whether you are a Buddha, whether you are a Shinto, whether you are Muslim, you come in that office today, today, one of these days, you get a packet from us. And this is your Ramadan gift. It's, it's all in it. Tea, sugar, coffee, everything, you name it. And that's to help them. We have almost about 600 and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, almost about 700. And we'll do that. It's a hard job though right now. Most of this... The prices are skyscraping up there, but we'll manage to see that the people that are supposed to get it, those, not all of them of course, but we see how best we can help some of them, not all. 700 household you mean? Yes, yes. That's going to be a lot of people. That's right. So you're going to provide all this package for them? We're going to pro pro provide everything and I would love it if you come there, I'll call you, come to the office yourself. You take a picture of them all, all these packets, you know, all these packets. You see it. You know, we, we do them. Um, the, the only, the only pro problem we might be facing is transport. But we'll manage, we'll manage, we'll find a way. We'll use my own car here, the NGO car, and other friends of mine, they have a car, we call them the car. We do, we'll do it at night because last year we had a big problem because that's what this calmed down and then the police came. And that was a serious problem. But then we were able to talk to them. They were nice police people. They were nice. So they said, hey, go ahead. Right. So this time you're going to distribute it at night? At night, yes. And you are going to take it to people? I'm going to take it to the people. We might be stand, we go stand somewhere, call you, come there, hey, in a packet over. That's your packet. Take it home. But don't sell it. Don't sell it. But again, why why are you going to select specific people? Select, select, to select spe specific people. Well, there, uh, you see, uh, there uh, the tendency is there are poor people and uh, really distressed people. And not only in Bacau, people might say, why only in Bacau? No, no, no. Because today in Bacau, now, there are people coming from Fonyi, beyond the ocean, from somewhere in Yumi, they all come. We don't care where you are. But if you come in that office, whether you are Mandinka, Fula, Jola, Timini, no, any, 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 what tribe, we don't care. Tribe don't matter to us. But if you come there, we help you. Why are you doing specific on tribe? All, we are all human beings. I don't go. I don't care whether you are Mandingo or or, or Fula or Wolof. We are all human beings. 
created by one God. In fact, I have a song like that. No race, no color. That's right. a nice reggae song. Right. Well, and you think that um, considering this um, race or color or tribal sentiments, you think it's going to help? Well, it's going to help. Of course it will help. Let's, let's keep on preaching. You know, let's keep on fighting for it. I mean, what I mean, I don't mean fighting bonically with your, bo with your, with, you know, I don't, I'm, to, I'm not, whatever. You know, you, my, the mindset is, let's do it mentally, sp spiritually, no, I say mentally. That people understand that all human beings are the same. No Love one that. is better than order. No, that's right. There is a song called, uh, no, uh, Love Everybody, no matter where who they are where they are love everybody and help everybody what do you have for the beneficiaries uh, first of all I wish them all the best of Ramadan we go in peacefully and we come out from this Ramadan please may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the blessing forgive all our sins we've committed for all these years those that are gone, bring them in Jannah to three daus. It's the highest part of Jannah. For the Christians, we pray for them too. They are so just finished as this. Ramarani and